welcome back to my channel. Today is a very special day because it is Sunday. my birthday. Yeah, it's Jackson's seventh birthday today, which I can't even believe. And I know so many of you guys have been following me since he was born, which is crazy as well. Um, but yeah, I thought today in this video, I'll show you like all of the party prep that we're gonna do for his birthday, his cake, his presents, his balloons, his gaming bus, because we're having like a yeah. bit of a gaming party. Um, yeah, so I hope you really enjoy this video. If you do, give it a big like and subscribe if you're new. And, and I have Lanky Box merch over there. It's got Lanky Box merch, which we'll show you. Should we show them? Yeah. yeah! Yeah, so this is Jackson's seventh birthday. I love making these videos because we always look back on them, don't we? So sometimes is, they're like. I'm that one of your first birthday. You are in and your my class. Brothers. Yeah, because you're like September. Mm -hmm. So really early. Um, but yeah, we hope you like this video. And. Wish Jaxie happy birthday. Okay, so I thought I would start this video out the night before his actual birthday. So I put Jackson to bed at about 7.30 and then me and his brothers kind of prepped everything together. It was really adorable. They get so excited to help and they organize the scavenger hunt with me and everything. So here's Caleb and I making the party bags. We got the bags themselves on Amazon. They were pretty reasonable and they are gaming themed because he's having a bit of a gaming party and we've got like a gaming bus coming. So inside these party bags, we are gonna put some Pokemon cards. We actually bought them in Spain. They were definitely fake because they were really reasonable to buy. So we got about 20 of those. Um, and then we also have some sweets from a local sweet shop called Sam's and we're gonna put those in each thing as well. And that is literally it. The only other thing that's gonna go in on the day is a piece of the birthday cake as well but anyway they're set up now and then we printed out the birthday scavenger hunt this has become a tradition in our house whenever it's a birthday we do a scavenger hunt and you can either find clues online and write them out yourselves or you can actually print them there's so many free ones on pinterest um, and places like that so i think i've actually used these ones before but we've printed those out then i'm stocking up the fridge i've just got loads of like juice for the party tomorrow so i'm putting them into the fridge so that they're going to be ready and then we decided that we were going to put all of Jackson's presents in the playroom this year. So the scavenger hunt will end in this room. So we're just moving a few things around like the bean bags. Um, we've got this pool table. So we put it the other way so that there would be more room for the balloons and for the presents as well. Then I noticed it really needed to be vacuumed in here. So I'm just quickly tidying up. And actually for his presents, he was really good this year. He wrote like a long list of things that he wanted to get, like you heard him say he wanted these lanky box toys, he wanted some pens, um, what else did he want? He wanted Pokemon cards, there were a few like various things, of course Lego, um, so I'll show you a few more in a minute, but most of his presents I actually packed up before we went on holiday because I really wanted to get things organized, um, but I ordered a few last minute ones like I always do, I've got some pens here, um, so I'm just going to quickly wrap them up, and I wanted to show you two gadgets which I really love when it comes to Christmas and birthdays. It is this gift wrap cutter. I got this on Amazon. I think I got a pack of two and it's really easy to use. Just kind of put it on the roll and it just cuts it really easily. And I also have this tape dispenser which attaches to your kitchen surface or to a table and it holds it in place and makes it so easy for you to get the tape off that you need. So I'm really loving both of those. I'll link them in the description if you guys want to get them for Christmas or something like that. But yeah, they make it a lot easier for me to wrap. Then I'm going to get all of his other presents out of this cupboard, which the boys now know is like a secret present cupboard. So I'm gonna have to change that. Um, but these are all the ones that I wrapped before we went on holiday. And it looks like a lot, but Jackson luckily is still at that stage where you know he wanted a few plushy toys and everything is still quite inexpensive. I'm finding as the boys get older, the piles get smaller and more expensive. But anyway, these are the balloons. 
I love to do balloons, like not only for the party, but also for the presents, because as I said, like their stacks are getting a little bit smaller, but if you see, you know, a bunch of balloons, it is super exciting on your birthday. So we've got those. And then of course I reused them for his birthday party tomorrow. This year it was really nice because his birthday landed on the weekend. So we did his presents and his party all on the same day, which was really nice. Now it's the next morning. So this is the scavenger hunt starting. He woke up at 6 a.m. That's why it's still dark. And then he read the first clue with which led him down to some shoes. And what we tend to do is put a small present with each clue as well, which makes it really exciting. Yes, yeah, so they all took turns reading out the clues and running around the house. They were in the utility room, the oven, the microwave. There was even one in our post box. And then, of course, they ended up in the playroom where all of the presents were. Yeah, so they had such a fun morning and then we kind of just all sat around while Jackson opened up all of his presents. He wanted these Funko Pop um, toys. He wanted the Luca ones. And I thought I would show you a few of the other presents that he got as well. Of course, I mentioned he really wanted some Pokemon cards. He's really got into that. He also loves Lego. So I thought that this little upset would be perfect for his birthday. And he started making Lego quite soon after opening his presents. He also got this friend's Lego set. He got another Yoda and um, the Sonic teddies. This Yoda as well comes in a backpack so it's perfect because he likes to take him on holiday with us and then I also saw they did a little Lego birthday cake as well so I got the upset with the balloons and then this birthday cake the Pokemon cards like I said and then he loves coloring so we got some Posca pens we got some magic pens from my mum and then of course he wanted some sweets as well then I started getting the house ready for the birthday party and as I was filming I got hit in the head with a tennis ball. That is, that is life with boys. So anyway, I've got some napkins and I've got these random paper plates that were in my garage that I'm going to use for the food today. I've got like England ones from an England match and some old Star Wars ones as well. And then some serviettes to wrap the cake up with as well. Um, but now that we're ready, we're just going to tidy the house. I decided to have um, some of his friends over to the house. And I know all the mums were like, oh, you're so brave. But actually it made it really easy because we didn't have to pay for a venue and in September around his birthday it's always incredibly good weather he's seven now he's always had a beautiful sunny day for his birthday so we hired a gaming bus which I'll show you in a minute and Caleb really wanted to make the sweet platters you may have seen us do these like dessert grazing boards before you basically just buy a bunch of biscuits and then arrange them in a pretty way on a platter and yeah he loves doing it we get super creative with it as well so he's made those for after the pizza and I'm just gonna do a really quick tidy up before everyone comes over Matt said I probably shouldn't bother because I'd probably need to clean after they had been as well but I wanted to just like tidy up the space really needed to vacuum as well there were crumbs everywhere and then for the table because the kids will be sitting down here for their dinner we put pillowcases and towels over the cream chairs to protect them from pizza fingers because we learned that the hard way last year there were a few pizza marks on the chairs so we've set all of that up and then yeah i'm just gonna run around and quickly vacuum and then that's it so jackson's cake has just arrived and we're gonna do like a bit of a first look so he's not he has no idea what it looks like but we're gonna surprise him and show him Okay, Jaxi. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> Do, you know oh. Do you know what it is? <laughs> I know what it is. It's Yoda. How good is that, Jackson? Isn't that so cool? 
We've used the same cake maker for years. She's called Cut a Slice and she's super creative. So she knows that he loves Yoda and she just arrived with this. I didn't really like tell her exactly what to do, but we were so pleased and it was Biscoff flavor inside. So yeah, it was really, really delicious as well. Then we also surprised him with the gaming bus. He knew one was coming, but he didn't know what it looked like. This is Fraser's friend and his friend with him. Um, and yeah, this is the gaming bus. So it kind of sat outside the house. Um, and then for food, I actually just ordered Domino's, uh, which made my life nice and easy. So they ate that, they had the juice, and then we had cake as well. Kiki's not silly. She is sat next to all the kids just waiting for food to fall. And then I cut the cake and I actually made a reel on how to cut a tall cake. So I cut it down like this, put it onto a chopping board and then cut it horizontally and vertically. And it means that you get so many more slices out of a cake. Um, so we had absolutely loads to send home with people, which was great. Then I had to take his ears off and just kind of carry that on. So I'm just gonna cut straight down. Um, and then cut horizontally and vertically again. Um, but yeah, it was such a good day. We had an amazing time. Jackson said it was the best day ever. And I know sometimes I go a little bit overboard with birthdays. I've just always had a thing about them. Um, and yeah, I just feel like life is worth celebrating. So I really love to do that um so yeah anyway i hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for sharing his birthday with us and yeah thanks again i'll see you in my next one bye guys